So just in terms of like platforms, like so how you said it's quite difficult, like who who is the go to broadcaster or is it all like I know the rugby it changes network are showing year to quite year, a little bit now? The, the big one is Flow Rugby by a lot. They, you know, they they have the top 14, they have the URC. Um, geez, I have to double check to see if they have Six Nations this year. But they carry Super Rugby. Uh, last year, the first time I got to watch the FPC in addition to the NPC, which is really nice. Um, so they they even have some college rugby thrown in there. So um, they are the go-to place. Everyone hates them. I complain about them all the time. It's it's unreliable. You, you click on one replay and it's actually a different replay. Um, things don't get posted when they say. On the other hand, that's what I want to be watching, and they've they're the only ones who've got it. Um, last year, Peacock carried the sevens. This year, they don't. That's a weird mix where you can watch the pool stages on one network and the finals on a different one. Some of them offer replays. Some of them don't. Um, it's just a constant search. Once the season ends. You have to start searching, okay, who's picked up this contract for the next year, if anyone? Where am I going to be able to find this? Um, but Flow is the go-to one, unfortunately. Okay. And what about the, the rugby network? Because I know that's something, and I know we're going to talk about it later in, in terms of MNR. That seems to be the go-to place now for the Prem, for PWR, and for obviously the MLR domestically as well. Is that something you, you sign up for? Are they, are they the street competitions shown, or do they show other ones? And what's it like in terms so, of cost then? I loved the rugby network when they came out because it was completely free. You, you sign up, but you don't even give them a credit card for later or anything like that. It's just, here you go. And they carried, I think, every single MLR game that way um, and all the replays and everything like that. It's great. Plus, they're sort of linked with Rugby Pass, so they have you know, some of the Jim Hamilton crap and uh, other random stories. Um, but I, I kind of like some of that fluff stuff, too. Uh, and then they were like, well, we got, we're got, we getting the Prem now. We're going to start charging. They, This is, in fact, on the show that's – my show that's going to come out in a few hours. Uh, it's the first time I've really openly complained about them because I finally ponied up the dough to actually watch. And the, this weekend when there's only one PWR match, they're like, eh, we're not going to show it. They just skipped it. And, uh, like, if you're watching it live but you're a little behind and it ends – it's cut off and then it won't come back for five hours. You have to be looking for it. You have to search for team names to find matches at all. Sometimes it's just, it's awkward. Um, I don't think the broadcast quality is that top, but we'll see because MLR is coming back soon. And I don't know if they're going to keep it behind this paywall that they're using for the prem or it's going to be back to normal. Um, I haven't actually heard definitively yet, so we'll find out. 